welcome friends from across the globe. Today at GCK Daily, we're looking at the authority of Christ. Christ was born a few thousand years ago in a little town in the middle of nowhere. He was born to young poor parents and laid in a manger. He grew up poor with no influence or power or wealth. And yet he has become the most influential person in the history of the world. For millennia, he has dominated the political, socio-economical, and cultural spaces. He has influenced people personally and on the grand scale of things. What does this dominion look like? Let's listen as we learn some valuable truths from Dr. Kumi about this authority. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory, the triumph, the dominion through our Lord Jesus Christ. Is thanking God. And you know, if you thank God in your life for the dominion to come, look at Jericho was standing, and the people appeared as if Jericho was will conquer them. But they went around one day, second day, and on the seventh day, while the walls were still up, they shouted the shout of praise and the shout of thanksgiving and the Jericho walls fell down flat and when you say thanks be to God even while the cancer is still there thanks be to God while the blindness is still there thanks be to God while the paralysis is still there thanks be to God when it appears the walls of demarcation between you and victory the walls are still there and you thank the Lord by the time we say the final amen tonight all your Jericho walls are gone but thanks be to the to God which giveth us the victory the triumph the dominion through our Lord Jesus Christ and now in Judges chapter 5 I'm reading from verse 13 Judges chapter 5 verse 13 then he made him that remained to have dominion over the nobles over the powers over the principalities he made him that remained to have dominion over the nobles among the people the lord made me have dominion over the mighty that unconquerable enemy and that unconquerable personality in your life tonight the lord makes you to have dominion the Lord makes me to have dominion. Christ has come and has come to bring us dominion. He has come to bring us victory. Victory over sin. Victory over the strong enemy in your life. And victory over Satan and over the supplanter, over the evil one. Total victory in what victory? External victory all round victory the Lord has come to give us tonight. You will not miss it. Your salvation, you will not miss it. Your healing, you will not miss it. Your deliverance, you will not miss it. And in whatever area, and in whichever area of your life, you want dominion, instant dominion, internal dominion, immediate dominion is coming your way tonight tonight the lord will wipe your tears away and everything that dominated your life anything and everything that oppressed your life the lord will clear everything away tonight in jesus name hello friends this is paul balash and you're watching gck daily with dr kumuyi as we listened we discovered a few key points from this message. Number one, we have dominion over principalities. When Christ died and rose from the dead, he was granted authority over all things. He has authority over every power, every principality, every cosmic power. He rules with a rod of iron over all things. And there's nothing he doesn't see, 
There's no wisdom or knowledge he doesn't know. There's no power that can overcome him or bring him low. Number two, dominion over the mighty. In the same way, there are worldly powers that are working overtime to overwhelm the children of God. These powers are cultural and political and socioeconomical in nature. And these, po these are powerful people. They're influential people. These are sinful people fueled by evil spirits to work together for evil purposes. But they will not succeed. They will fall into their own traps and their own snares. And they will be thwarted at every turn by the Spirit of the Lord. Finally, point number three, dominion over the flesh. The Lord has crucified your sin for your evil, for your rebellion. In his death and subsequent resurrection, he offers you a new life with a new nature. Like a light switch, you are instantly given a new nature with a new purpose and new desires, and your appetites have changed. Your pursuits have changed. Your direction has changed. But there is still sin that will need to put to, that you will need to put to death. You may be suffering from sins and addictions and godlessness. You need to crucify that sin, nail it to the cross of Christ, run a spear through the side of that sin, and let that lifeblood gush out. Starve that sin, hate that sin, destroy that sin in your life, because Christ has already given you the victory. Acts chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 26, Acts chapter 3, and we're looking at verse 26 unto you, for God having raised up his son, Jesus, was the name of our Savior, was the name of the one that comes to give us salvation, was the name of the one that gives us dominion unto you first, unto you first. As tonight the opportunity comes to you that you are to give your life to Christ totally, completely, unreservedly, coming out of sin and coming to the Savior. And when you are to do that, you'll be the number one. You'll not say, I'm still thinking about it. Should I? Should I not? Should I come out of the suffering out of the shame, out of the degradation of sin? Should I come out of oppression? Should I come out of the evil? Tonight, you'll be number one. Number one. Number one in Jesus' name. Until you force God have been raised up, his son Jesus sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Amen. 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 In turning away, have you noticed sometimes you're looking at something and at the first time you look at it, it's ugly. It's repellent. It repels you. It turns you the other way. And then you look at it again. And it's not as ugly as the first time. And you look at it again. And you look at it again. Until you begin to love it. There are times people do like that. When you have the first contact with that sin. The first contact with that evil. You feel guilty. This is bad. This is terrible. If you do it again and do it again and do it again and you behold it again and again and again, you begin to love it. But now the Lord wants to reverse that situation. You've been looking at it. You've been appreciating it. You've been enjoying it, but now the Lord has sent him to bless you in turning you away. Turning you away from all your iniquities. He will do it tonight in Jesus' name. We're looking at 1 John chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 4. 1 John chapter 3, and we're looking at verse 4. It says, whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. 
the law does not know your title, does not know your position, does not know your authority, does not know your education, does not know your stature, does not know your position in society. If somebody does something contrary to the law, he is arrested and he cannot say, I am Mr. So and so. You cannot say, I am Mrs. So and so. The Lord does not know the title or the position of anyone. And you cannot say, I am, uh, you know, of this particular church. Uh, because the Lord does not know that. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. And there is only one person that can deliver us. Your name cannot deliver you. Your stature cannot deliver you. The name of your church cannot deliver you. And your rituals cannot deliver you. And your sacrifices cannot deliver you. And your religiosity cannot deliver you. Look at verse 5. But we know, and ye know, that he, Christ, was manifested to take away our sins. He is the only one manifested. He is the only one sent by the Father from heaven to take away our sin. Tonight is your night. Yeah. I said tonight is your night. Yeah. If you will be sincere, if you will be honest, if you will look at the Lord and say, Lord, I know you're my savior, you're my redeemer. I know I cannot save myself and my religious ceremonies cannot save me. You and you alone, thou and thou alone must save. If you are that sincere and honest tonight, it will save you. And in him is no sin. It will disengage you from sin. It will save you from all your sin in Jesus' name. Amen. If you've not experienced the goodness of God, we would encourage you to do so. If you've not tasted the love and the joy of the Lord, come and feast at his table. God is extending to you the olive branch of his son. Don't remain at, the, at war with the Lord Jesus who rules over all things. There's no victory apart from him. So take some time right now, wherever you are, to call out to the Lord. Turn from all your sin and receive at this moment the new life that Christ is offering to you. There's a simple prayer that you must pray, but there's no formula. Simply tell the Lord that you want to return from your sin and believe that Jesus died your death and rose for your new life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Believe and in the power to live in newness of life, the Lord will grant unto you. Father, in the name of Jesus, our Savior, our Lord, who died for us on the cross of Calvary, we come believing the promise you have given that whosoever comes to you in repentance, you will in no wise cast away. We ask, O oh Lord, all these who have come, forgive their sins in Jesus' name. Take away the guilt. Take away the condemnation. And give them the power of a new life in Jesus' name. Take the condemnation away. And give them peace of heart and victory over all the evil of the past in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We know you have answered. Let them have the assurance of your salvation now. In Jesus' name we pray. A good, good amen. And lay the other hand where you have the problem. And that thing, sickness, pain, whatever, everything will vanish out of your body. Yeah. Father, in Jesus' name, yeah. we well, thank you, Lord, because of what you are able to do. 
and what you plan to do and what you have promised you are going to do. We ask, oh Lord, that you touch every life right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Manifest your power. Amen. Manifest your authority. Manifest your dominion over sickness, over Satan, over every evil thing in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, where there is sickness, there will be health. Where there's any damage, you bring repair to every part of their lives, every part of their body right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray you knock off the hand of Satan out of everyone's body, everyone's life, everyone's family right now in Jesus' name. Over here, over the radio, over the television, anywhere and everywhere online, in every location right now, manifest your power and destroy the works of the devil. Lord, I pray those blind eyes, open them now in Jesus' name. Amen. Deaf and don't make them to hear, make them to speak in Jesus' name. Amen. And those who are paralyzed or having arthritis or any kind of a problem, impediment in their motion, in their walking, let your power come to them now. Heal them in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for every swelling, whether it's cancer or whatever, remove it right now. Heal them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that every kind of a problem or pain or sickness, whatever the name may be, they will bow under the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Dominion everywhere. Healing everywhere. Deliverance everywhere. Miracle everywhere for everyone. I pray, Lord, to the left, to the right, to the center, to the back, and everywhere, confirm miraculous healing right now. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. The Lord has answered in Jesus' name. Check up yourself and you'll find your miracle of healing, deliverance, dominion is already there. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the Global Crusade with Kumi. We believe that this episode has drawn you into a closer relationship with Jesus Christ, who loves you so much and gave his life that you might live. As we conclude today, we would love to get to know you personally. Please visit us at gckhq.org slash cwc to connect with us and enable us to share our helpful resources with you. Also, the greatest thing you can do is share today's message with a friend so they can be blessed. We are grateful for the time you have given today and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow on GCK Daily. We also invite you to join us at our next Global Crusade. Times and dates are listed on your specific geographical time zone. Thank you. Thank you.